Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas for UFC 183 alongside Ian Uncle Creepy McCall, who of course faces John Lineker this Saturday on the Fox Sports 1 prelims. Ian, good to see you. Are you surprised you're on the prelims? Yes. Are you upset? I got over it. You were upset? Yes, I, I definitely was. You know, but at the end of the day, I have to let my performance do the talking. And I have to... I'm, I'm not like I'm going to make any less or any more being on this, so I just have to get my job done as fast and proficiently as possible and, uh, and move on. This day and age also, I mean, more people usually see the prelims than the pay-per-view. You know that? That, that is true. Uh, so it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I, I, I am honored to be on, a, on the, the card with Anderson and Nick and, and the likes of everybody else, so it's cool, you know. It's just another job, at, another day at the, at the job. Of course, you guys were supposed to fight in November. Didn't happen. You had uh, uh, an infection in your blood, right? How are you feeling now? For the first time in a long time, I feel really well. Okay. You know, I, I, I finally feel like I should. And, and it's, it, it's exciting for me because I'm peaking so well right now that um, I think even in the Brad fight, I was sick. You know, and, and your hand was messed up too, right? Yeah, well, my hand's still not that good, but you know, it is what it is. That's that's why we have. Um, can you straighten that finger? No. That's as much as it goes. That's the best I can close it. For life? Uh, well, until I break it again and get another surgery, maybe they'll fix it next time. I don't know. I told them just to cut the finger off, um, <laughs> because then I might have a better chance at, like, making a fist. But does that hurt? Like the bump right there? No, it's it's kind of numb, and you know, so I, I, I get to, you know, I can still beat the hell out of people with it. So that's a plus. But overall, your body feels good. Do you have any reason for this? I mean, what made you feel a lot more healthy than in your last fight? I've time, maybe? Time and the infection. I think I had the infection because, I mean, this was infected, I don't know how long ago. And I think from when my hand got infected, which is my third surgery, I never, I didn't quite finish my antibiotics um, like I should have. So, it, you know, just residual effect, and I just always felt crappy. And, I mean, when I did take those antibiotics, I was in bed for a week. They like toasted my system really gnarly. So it's finally everything's out and everything's, I just feel a lot better. I'm a lot healthier. Um, and, and like I said, I, I'm peaking right now really hard. So uh, it, it's, it's going to be exciting to show everyone you know, what I can actually do. You a little sick of this guy? I mean, you've had to think about him for two straight camps now. And what's interesting, and I want you to answer that, but leading up to the first fight, there was some back and forth. But this time around, correct me if I'm wrong, it feels like there's a mutual respect there. Yeah, because you know, he's nice, I'm nice to him, but I, and plus I think he realizes what sort of savage individual he's dealing with. Uh, you know, I'm sick, you know, I'll, I'm at 50% and I'll still fight you. I'm still going to make weight, you know. Um, it wasn't my decision to pull out of the fight, UFC pulled me out of the fight. So I think he's, he's realizing what sort of individual that, that he has standing across from him. And... You know, you're, he's totally screwed. I'm, I'm going to just completely expose him to everything else that, that you know, uh, Bogatinov did it pretty well, you know, and I think I'm a lot better than he is. Right now it's, it's wide open at 125. They haven't announced the number one contender yet. Do you feel like if you win, you will be that guy? Yes. I think, they told you that? No. No one's told me anything. Maybe they told my agent. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really care. It just comes down to me doing my job, getting it done, getting a finish, and, and, and moving on. Because you know, this has been six months of dealing with the same person that you kind of don't really like for no real reason, just besides the fact that we're getting in a fist fight. Like, we're not friends. You know, my friends aren't friends with your friends. You know, that's, that's maybe it's old school of me, but that's how we get down. Like, you know, like, what's up, dude? High five. Like, yeah, like, go away now. You know, we don't need to talk. We don't need to be chummy. Like... You know, we're going to fight soon, so, and, and, and thank God it's going to be over after Saturday. Does the flyweight division, does Demetrius Johnson need you? Are you the one to save this division? Yes. Demetrius knows he needs me. Um, and he knows that I'm also better than he is. You know, and, and he, DJ's great. You know, great guy. He, you know, he does his job very well, but I've exposed him once and I'll do it again. Speaking of exposing, what's the biggest hole in Lineker's game that you're looking forward to exposing on Saturday? Uh, being on his back. I think with my top game, it's not going to be that much. That, it's not going to be that hard. It's going to be a lot of work. It's not going to be easy, um, you know, from an actual physical standpoint. But from a stylistic standpoint, cake. I'll walk all over him and I will punish him. Seeing your teammate Carlos Sparza win the belt in December, you were there front and center. Did that reinvigorate you? Did that really, you know, 
bring to the forefront that, wow, this can be done and I should be holding a belt as well? Yeah. So after this fight, I'm going to get name tags um, on, our, on our, our trophy case just so we know who's is who's. Uh, but no, seeing Carla win a title, even forgetting myself for a second and just being so proud of her as a coach, that's my first real coaching job. And we knew we had something special from, the, you know, she was a teenager stepping into our gym. So it's, it's just so, so elated for her. But on top of it, you know, like, they're like, oh, try the belt on. I'm like, get that thing away from me. Like, no. And even Sean Shaw was like, oh, you're going to get all Johnny Hendricks on me? I'm like, yeah, I am, actually, because uh, I haven't earned it, you know, and, and I can't wait to earn it because it, it'll finally, it'll put, in, you know, a period in my life, you know, it, it'll, it'll make things so much better because otherwise, you know, I, I won't feel uh, like I accomplished what I should have. Great to see you back. Great to see you healthy. Good luck in the fight. Thank you so much.